Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will show you how to reseal a valve cover on your single cylinder Briggs engine. Now the main reason you might want to do this is because you have oil coming out of it. This machine was brought to the shop and the cover had already been taken off and there's no gasket behind here. I'll show you how to clean the old silicone that's on there and how to reinstall a new gasket on here. So the first thing you want to do is put a rag under the valve cover because sometimes there is a bit of oil that does come out. Next you'll need a 3.8 socket or a 10 millimeter depending on your engine. Remove the four bolts here. Now usually there's a lot of RTV silicone holding the valve cover on. When you go to get it off it will not come as easy as it did just right now so what you'll need to do is grab a screwdriver and just pry between the valve cover here and the engine and just get it off like that so what i'll do here is wipe up the oil that's here and have a look at the cover here you can see rtv silicone all over it so i'll just wipe up the oil and what I'll be using to remove the old gasket maker on there is a Scotch-Brite pad from 3M, the green pad, on my die grinder. And make sure you've got safety glasses when you do this. And now I clean it off with brake cleaner. What you want is the prep surface clean of any oily residue. And now what I need to do is clean off the old gasket maker on the engine head here. And when I do it, I will try to do it in a way that sprays all the old gasket maker that way away from the engine. And also clean this with brake cleaner as well. Now if you find that there's a lot of oil coming out of the engine and getting on your clean surface, you can always jack up the front of the machine just a little bit and then gravity will send all the oil back in the engine. So I ended up jacking it up just a little bit because the oil kept dripping on my clean surface here. All right, so I've got the surface on the engine clean and the valve cover. Now I'm ready for the new gasket maker and the gasket. And here's the gasket part number 272475S. And it's pretty well the same gasket on all the overhead valve engines from Briggs with a single cylinder. Now today I'm using Honda Bond HT. Now you can use other types of RTV silicone. I find this one to be the best. So what I do is I put a thin film of the gasket maker all around the valve cover here. You don't need much. It's probably not even necessary, but I don't want to send out a machine to a customer and then have them call me about an oil leak. I'd rather take the extra step and make sure it's done right. And then I just do the same on the engine here. I put a thin film. And now I just put the gasket on the valve cover. It's going to stick to the gasket maker that's on there. And now when you put your cover on, make sure you have it positioned properly like this because if you don't, the model type and code numbers will be facing downwards and it's going to be impossible to see the proper model numbers if ever you need parts. And what I'll do here is start the bolts off on a low setting with my impact. 
and do it in a diagonal pattern. And then I just go around with a ratchet and manually tighten them up just a little bit. Now these bolts do not have to be super tight, but they do have to be pretty snug. And I usually let the gasket maker settle in for about an hour before starting the machine if I can help it. Now this was done on a John Deere D120. Even though it's branded John Deere, it is a Briggs & Stratton engine. It's going to be the same gasket and procedure on all the single cylinder overhead valve engines. And it'll be the same procedure on the Briggs V-twin engines, although you will need a different gasket. So thanks for watching guys. Also make sure to check out my other small engine repair videos on my channel. And you guys have a great day.